Hello. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back after having like a two year break off of YouTube. I made a video last week where I talked about how God gave me a thousand dollars. But in that video, I didn't talk about the fact that I was not on this channel for two years. So that's kind of a big deal. Not for new people as much, but for people who have been around since two years ago, they're probably like, what the heck happened? So here's an update. And in the update, I'm going to be telling you about how God gave me a job. And I mean, he literally gave it to me. I didn't know anybody. At, I didn't know anybody at the company. I had never heard of the company and I did no networking. God just said, here you go. This one's for you. So we'll have to go back to the beginning. The beginning was the video that I posted two years ago, which somebody in the comments noticed. They said, "Woo, your last video was two years ago. Yeah, in that video, I was burnt out, I was stressed, and I was tired of LA, okay? I had been living in LA. I think I was coming up on two years, and by that time, I was about ready to go. You can tell in the video. Long story short about LA, I'm not like obsessed with it. And I always feel like I have to say that I love LA to people just because that's kind of what they would expect. But um, I like LA. It's really, really the good weather and like the opportunities. Is LA really worth it? I would answer that by saying it depends on what you're looking for. As you might have been able to tell, your girl was over it. I was done and Funny enough, that was a video I recorded. I cannot remember if it was before or after I got laid off. I don't wanna lie to you, I don't remember. But I got laid off from a job that I was working in in LA. So I think it's very unlikely I would have recorded that video at that time because I just was a little bit stressed out. And so I had about a four month period after getting laid off of a job that I had when I was in LA where I just didn't know um, really what to do next. And the crazy part is I wasn't even that upset once I got laid off of that job because it felt really out of alignment. It felt like the wrong job for me and I didn't really know what I was doing there. And it just felt wrong, LA felt wrong. Everything just kind of felt wrong at that time and you can kind of see it in my face in that video. So. <laughs> While I was still there in LA during that four month period where I was just like stressed out and applying for jobs frantically every day, just waking up, just like, I need to find a job, I need to find a job, I can't breathe. Um, I just like went upstairs on my roof with Ashley when we were living there. Ashley's my sister. We were roommates in LA at the time and we had a little roof top upstairs and we just sat up there one day and I just exhaled, I'm like, hey, this is in God's hands. I'm just gonna kind of exhale, take my hands off of this whole frantic job search for a second. And you would not believe what happened. <laughs> like right after I did that, I get a LinkedIn message on my phone because at this point I had notifications on my phone for LinkedIn. You know, if you are in the job hunting space, you know how that is. And so I get a message from a recruiter from a company that I have never heard of in my life, don't know anything about it. And her message um, was very, very powerful. Caught me off guard. I'm gonna pull it up, <coughs> gonna block out her name and the company, but she was like, your profile is like jumping off the screen for what we need in this role. It was something along those lines. She just said like, hey, you're basically exactly what we're looking for. And I was just like, wait, what? Who is she? What's this company? What's going on? But after reading the job description that she sent over to me, I was like, oh, she's right. Like everything that I've done in my background and my um, you know, former experience, is exactly what they're looking for. This is so crazy. And so this was on a Monday a couple of years ago. This was on a Monday morning that she sends me this message. And so I was super excited about it. Um, right away, I started talking to other people at the company. I had, a, I had an interview 
I think that Wednesday, um, following the Monday that we spoke, the, the recruiter and I spoke, and then the next day I had a second interview and by Friday of that week, I had the job. So again, the recruiter reached out to me on a Monday and then on that same Friday, I had a job offer. And one of the best parts of the job is that it was fully remote in the offer, they said. Fully remote, don't have to be in California. So at that point, I had already been feeling like God was kind of putting it on my heart to go back home to Michigan and to leave LA. And I was really questioning that. And I was really unsure about it just because I had been in LA for so long. Um, well, two years is not that long, but it just got to a point where I had to make a decision. And once I knew that the job was remote, I knew that I had that option now. And that option was very realistic and it was a really good option. And so I did accept the job and I love the job. And it's basically kind of led me back to coming back to YouTube. It's led me to where I am and it helped me kind of get my on camera confidence back in a lot of ways. I don't know how else to describe it other than that, but it's, it's, it's just inspired me to get back to posting on my YouTube channel. And so that is how I got here. And so that is the life update. I'm not in LA. I'm in Michigan. I am back on YouTube, back to posting regularly every Wednesday. So make sure that you subscribe. And that is basically the story. But the main part of the story that I wanted to stress is that what God has for you is for you. And that's just the most important thing I want to stress without getting like preachy. Hope it doesn't come off preachy, but there is, I didn't know anybody at the company. I had never heard of the company. It wasn't networking. There wasn't someone on the inside advocating for me. There was just nothing that I did or that I maneuvered or manipulated. God just literally said, this is for you. He literally said, this is for you. Here you go. And so that's why I give all the glory to him. I give all the credit to him for this job. It is a gift from God. And I knew once I came back to YouTube that this would be one of the first stories that I told. You know, I never really saw my channel being talking, being a channel where I talk so much about jobs or about finances or anything like that. But this is such a big part of my story, the whole job situation. And so, yeah, this is that's my testimony. God gave me that job. And during that time, I want to go back to the in between the four or five months, however long in between getting laid off and the new job. I was just praying every day. I had a couple of friends who I was praying with every day at 6 a.m. and they were really helpful throughout that time. I prayed, I believed in God and he took care of the rest. And so that is my testimony. Thank you for listening to this whole thing if you made it to the end and I'm going to post every Wednesday, like I said, so make sure that you don't make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Goodbye.